There is more than one approach to adding sheets. You can wait until you have several views drawn and then add your sheets as you need them, perhaps in preparation for a printing deadline that you might have, or you can pre-plan and set up a sheet index ahead of time and build a series of empty sheets that are ready to receive views as they become available. Or you can really do any combination of those things. I'm in a view here called placeholder sheets and this project does not have any sheets yet. I'm going to use the placeholder sheets technique to add the sheets to this project. As you can see, this project doesn't have any sheets created in this project yet. So instead of going to the sheets here and create them one new sheet at a time, I am going to simply add them from here. What I can do now is I can go to insert data row here and click and you notice that a new row will be created here and of course once we have created this new row we will be able to double click on it and rename them as let's say floor plan. I can then of course be able to continue adding a few more roles here like for example this will be called second story plan and let's say this one will be the third story plan and I'm going to change this to first story plan this way I'm going to continue to add on more Maybe this one we will call it Reflected Ceiling Plan. And we'll add another one, perhaps uh, Elevations. And another Elevation. Maybe just call this one Elevation elevation 2 this one we'll call it elevation let's say 1 and then we add some more section A A and add another one section B B this way and while we're at it let's change the numbers a little bit from let's say this one to 201 this one to 202 and then this one to 301 and this one to 302. Once we have created our list of drawings within this sheet list itself, what we can do is we can begin to click on this button here, new sheet and we can then begin to choose the required title block that we want to use and then with this we can click on what is actually needing this particular title block here. So for example, I'm going to try to put it on A101, the first story plan to add on to this A1 title block here and click OK. So now if you notice, this A101 first story plan has a new title sheet down here. Now, I can do this one by one by adding them this way or I can also do it all together one shot by, by clicking on new sheet again here and instead of clicking them one by one, if the title blocks that I'm going to use are going to be all the same, I will choose the title block size that I need and I will hold the shift key and click from the first one to the last one here and then I will click OK. This will allow me to create all the necessary sheets with the necessary title block sizes all at one go this way. So now all I have to do is activate this sheet and begin to drag and drop the necessary floor plan into the title sheet itself. And what I can do is now depending on how the drawing will fit inside the title block that I need to use, 
many a times the floor plan itself will take up a much bigger footprint than what the title block can cater to so minor adjustments will become necessary so what we can do is we can select this viewport itself and click on activate view here this way or we can double click to activate the view and right click okay this is to activate the view itself we can also we can then right click and click on deactivate view to go back to the the title sheet level here all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to double click to go and activate the first level floor plan view here and I will need to make some minor adjustments by moving them so that they will fit into the title blocks footprint here, this way. Like this. Once I'm done with this, I can right click and deactivate the view. If you now notice, the title tag is actually outside the, the drawing itself. So I need to shave it so that it will fit in nicely this way. And how to do it is, notice it is rather confusing to select the title tag itself. You can't quite just click on the viewport and adjust it. You have to select the title tag itself and drag it in from there. Okay, and when this is done, you will find that also by default, sometimes the title text line here, the separator line becomes really long and there is a need for us to adjust it. And in order to be able to do so, we need to click on the, the viewport itself before the vertex points are selectable. So once we've done this, we will then click and drag it in and we can roll and zoom in at the same time so that we can make the adjustments so that we can see it clearly and be able to adjust it accordingly this way like this okay now in general whatever that is being displayed here will be printable so there are some instances of which we may not want to show certain information on certain sheets or plans. So what's going to happen is, like for example, we are seeing these orange lines here, which are the floor separators. So if we do not want it to appear in the print here, what we can do is we can double click to activate the view and what can happen is also we can now select one of these room separators and again we can then right click to click on hide in view and category here to hide all the room separators away and once we're done with this we can then deactivate the view so that it will not print okay and to reverse this effect, we need to double click to activate the view again. And this time round, this time round, we will need to click on this icon down here, review hidden elements here. And when we click on this, you will notice that there will be a magenta frame around the viewport itself. This is Revit's way of communicating to us that in this view here, we are seeing things that are currently hidden away. So if you notice here, we are going to see a couple of magenta lines down here. So these are actually the, the room separator lines that we have just hidden away. And to, in order to unhide them, we will need to click on it and right click and look for unhide in view and then when we use this unhide in view we will need to choose category so that all the room separator lines that are being hidden here will be unhidden away and once we are done with this 
we will click on this close review hidden elements down here again and once we have done this and double click to deactivate the view we will be able to review all the room separator lines again okay so let's just go ahead and activate the view here and select one of the room separator lines and right click and hide in view category again this way so we can create sheets one at a time or using the placeholder sheets feature it's a great way for us to build the sheet list ahead of time that's already properly named and numbered and ready to go and when the team is ready to add the sheets they simply choose one of the placeholder sheets of the list or they can even create the entire list of sheets in a single step